let's say you have a 2009 or a 2010 PT Cruiser. I say those two year numbers because the tailgate handle has a finger pressure touch activation. So you just come in the back and you just touch it and, and it'll unlock the tailgate. But this one is not working. So how are you gonna test if it's the actuator or the actual touchpad? Because there's a touchpad under here. Well, disconnect the touchpad and then connect it back. Listen, you heard that? That's the actuator setting itself. I'm gonna do it again so you can hear the actual sound. One, two, three. Okay, so the actuator is working, touchpad isn't. So we're going to take off this touchpad. Connect it once again. If you look under here, you're gonna have one, two, three bolts, and then you're gonna have one on the end of the wing. I call this a wing emblem. The last two on the on the wing is what's called those star lock washers. You're just gonna have to get a screwdriver and pop them off. Alright, so once you do that. Go to the next step. Plastic, like a credit card or something like this. You come over here and just, because there's 3M sticker that's also holding us down. So make sure that you get all of the all the stick up, the 3M off. emblem because that will hold it from coming off come on the top two clips that you push in one here and one here you just push them in and push at the same time. Push in, push it in, and push. Now you got them both out. She should come right off. There we go. So there you have it. Way to double check it to make sure it's not the actuator and it is the finger pad. You can take the plug that the finger pad plug goes into get yourself a uh, paper clip and touch those two posts together if the car truck trunk lid unlocks then you know it's not the actuator possible good news that I might have for you guys is like saying oh hell how much does this handle cost that's kind of that's activated by the touchpad? If you take off uh, this piece right here, which is the, the handle, the actual handle, it's glued on, so you just get a screwdriver and work and work it off carefully so it doesn't break. It's no big deal. You're gonna see the actual touchpad, and you're gonna see this on top of the touch pad take off the touch take off this cover off the pad clean it clean it real good and then put it back on put it back on there and uh, you'll see that if you're lucky it'll work So seeing is believing. Here we go, just a little touch, and voila. So there you have it. This actuator is very expensive, by the way. You don't even want to start looking to see how much it costs because you'll faint. But I gotta tell you what motivated me to do this myself. I took it to the Chrysler dealership and for two things, the air conditioner and the door wouldn't open. So they came back 
and gave me an estimate of I think eleven hundred dollars. Four hundred for this and seven friends. I'll show it to you at the end of the uh, video what the the actual estimate that they gave me. That, that, that's if I still have it. So if it is the actuator, you know, it's only two bolts, it's not a big deal. Uh, you have to get it at the junkyard if you can find a 2009 and 10 because the rest of the PT Cruiser, PT Cruisers do not have this electric uh, door opener this for the back trunk lid. Alright, so there you have it, man. I hope this video helped out. If it did, please subscribe. It's how we support the Comfort Your Fear channel and do it yourself. It's free, it doesn't cost you a penny. Got any questions or answers, and I'm a professional, but if I can answer them and I feel confident you can answer, I will so I will do so. Alright, take it easy guys and go.